again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have just created the most cool 14 by 14 inch swiped enamel canvas. Just a little bit of enamel down the center and I got a total bloom technique without having spent any of the money on, well, I actually already did that, but I'll get around to that someday. So I used every kind of swipe tool and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this particular next canvas, but it's gonna be a 16 by 20. And I'm not going to need that paper towel again, I don't think. And uh, I am going to be using the Folk Art Black Gloss Enamel and the Folk Art White Gloss Enamel as catalyst tools. So I'm going to leave those someplace, knock on wood, where I can find them. And I'm going to try really hard to remember to use the paint that I just showed you. And this is my 14 by 14 inch canvas. And basically what I'm thinking is that it would be nice... Yes. If that would come out, oh yeah, that would be the perfect start, actually. So let's just go a little more and a little less and a little more and a little less and a little more and a little less. And I will add some white in some places and not everywhere. I, I'm not experienced enough with this to know that a lot isn't a good thing. So I'm going to take a chance and think that that, that might be okay. I'm going to start closer to my center this time. I'm also going to use colors that I know will go with that white, i.e. my favorite neon folk art multi-surface enamel. And then I'm going to put some more colors near them. And I'm not going to try and be too completely... What's another word that starts with A that isn't doesn't end in owl. <laughs> Excuse me. I lost my, my cooth for a minute. So I should probably be willing to uh, to swipe these out with the spatula to make them flat before I swipe them out with something else, but that's really not part of this plan. I am going to be putting a whole bunch of gold in here, I expect, and I'm going to be playing with colors that I don't always get to. That's almost the same exact color as that other one. Good, I'll put that back. I'd like to use a few colors I didn't use in my last composition. That is a color shift, so that will be an experiment. I'm thinking that if I put the colors near the center as I swipe them out, I will cover the, the remaining canvas, which would be a really cool idea. idea. I would like it if everything would just come out of their bottles because I... Really? Not really. <laughs> That's so much less than satisfying. Yes, Kermit came out. Oh, dear. All right, I'm just really excited today. You have to forgive me. I just had the most fun ever, and that the 14 by 14 inch swipe I published on the day I made it. So this is this is that day, but you may not see this video for a while. I want a bunch of gold, and I think that will help me out immensely. And I do use the DecoArt 24 karat gold myself, and I have been for a while. It's just until I finally looked at the fine print on the lid, I didn't know that I was using it. I was like, how's everybody getting that? <laughs> well, I was getting it. Now I'm thinking I could, I would normally use a wet cotton rag to do my swipe with, but I wanted to do a spatula swipe anyway. And if I don't like the way things are going or, or they're not going well enough, I will do what I did, which is to put chain or basting brush in here. And that would be cool. So I'm just picking colors that I like and putting them where I think they look good together-ish. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's kind of rainbowy, but that's okay. And I will fill in with some, that does not come out of that bottle well at all. Oh, whatever you are, come out. It's not happening. I'm gonna have to leave that aside and clean it out after. So I want some more orange in here. And this could take a while. I mean, really, it's a pretty big canvas. And what I really liked last time was using the neon pink and putting it a bunch of places sounds like a good idea to me. And don't be another one of those. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's clogging up on me again. All right. So that's two bottles to clean out. Hopefully I got a chance to do that. I might put a little bit of black in here, might I? And it's not enamel, it's just black. And I'm going to go back to using some more of that gold. 
and I'm probably going to come back in and put some white from Anita's and I might use a little bit of yellow because that seemed to be a nice thing last time and I don't mind if it gets to become green in places I want some more of this cross your fingers for me would you this is I really want this to work I think last time even though I could have laid out my colors all all in a stripe um, I think because I came back in and added some colors up that were odd at the top near the near the center how about that everything has got something in it that wants to come out right now so I think a lot more of this color is gonna make me happy and I hope I'm right because I'm probably putting it next to colors that won't necessarily be the best with I will also tell you that if I don't have complete coverage on the swipe I'm just gonna do what I did the first time I tried any of these methods and um, and pounce with my little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, which are available on the Amazon link along with the uh, Oxo Omelet Turning Spatulas, two sizes of those. And I don't know how much paint I want, and I kind of want to experiment with less is more sort of thing because I get I'm such a, a tremendous amount of paint before I'm done. I kind of want some copper in here, and I have a nice composition going. <laughs> we could stop now and call it all good. But uh, I am just trying to fill in, as you can see, with as much, fill in as much space as I can. And I want some of that green. It just occurs to me that I didn't have nearly enough. Some of these colors might strike you as something that would <laughs> not go well together, and there is that possibility. But I won't know until I get a lot closer. So I've got some Anita's metallic white that I usually refer to as pearl. And I'm going to put a bunch of that in early on. I think at the very least it will become sheer. And uh, at best it will help fill in and spread the paint into the areas where I don't really have enough. Or I don't think I have enough. So I am just going to swipe this and I'm going to try, oh, I forgot to use the color I had. See? Darn. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that this time, but I do have these really cute little saucers from Michael's that go with the little cut containers that come from the, uh, the party goods section. And I'm going to put that right back over that and use it. I'm just going to have to do another painting. Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to move some of these paints out of the way before I start. And this time I'm really contemplating using my large OXO omelet turning spatula for this. And like I said, if I don't like the way that's turning out, I will do something different. And I have, I'm going to use for the first time a 16, no it's not anymore. It was a 16 by 20 inch piece of uh, plastic. But I'd like any of my runoff to become something that goes on there and I can scrape it into that container if I want to. Oh boy, here goes nothing. All right, so I'm going to pull that right over to the edge of the tile and I'm going to start from the center. And, I, and that's white satin enamel, so that should be fine. I'm going to lay that right down. And let that go over. I'm going to grab another container. Because I think there's going to be a lot of paint there. And I want my spatula, and it's mostly clean. See, I get most of that paint back. And I'm going to move to another section. But I'm also going to clean my spatula off, because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link under show more. I'm going to let that spatula touch the edge of the canvas. Then I'm going to move to the other side and do something similar and I'm going to keep scraping it off into my little container. Hopefully I like this as much as I like the last one but I really liked all the, all the variety of the last one. You know what? I forgot red and I want some right now. I want some, but I have a clogged tip. Yeah. Just going to put it wherever. And I might have to swipe there again. Yeah, I love the red. I need the red. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably even going to fill that container right up. take whatever's left on my spatula on the other side and touch my canvas 
and see if that's something that's going to work for us. And I think it might. It looks kind of cool. It like could. If I get muck on my spatula, I'm going to wipe it off somewhere else. <laughs> right at the moment, it's on my pants. But um, I think for this smaller area in here, I'm going to go ahead and give myself some permission to go back in and play with that silicone basting brush. And I'm going to wipe it off because I think I'm probably going to use it again. Because that's pretty cool. The coolest thing about it really is that it leaves a lot of colors behind, more or less unaffected. And I'm getting some neat effects and I'm pretty happy with them. I'm not saying I won't have to go back and fill in some spaces, but I'm having a really, really excellent time doing this. And I know it's not, it's not impossible for anybody to do this, so long as you're picking colors you love. I have a smaller spatula. I should have known I was going to just go to town. I got bad eyesight, but I am going to keep my eye out for spaces on the canvas like that. I'm just going to come back and keep coming back. I don't want that over the edge of the tile. Grab some more black satin enamel. Excuse me, it's not satin, it's gloss. Not deco art Americana, folk art. 100%. And they were all on sale when I bought them at 30% off at uh, Hobby Lobby, so that was very cool. I was pretty happy to see that. I can scrap, scrape off a lot of the spatula into that container and not have to think too much about it. I'm going to go a long way. I am using what might be considered as a little more paint than usual, but it's not this, and it comes out a lot like the blooming technique without the added expense, but you're still, you know, there's still a lot of paint. So this is what I mean by just tapping the spatula in here and closing up those gaps. And if I like that there's a space left that's solid color, I'm going to keep that. Scrape that off again, wipe it off again. I think it's time. Oh, I really want that black satin enamel to do its to do its trick. And I will torch. And I like the random shapes that I'm leaving behind. I say that and then I want to fill that one. Isn't that terrible? That is terrible. Let's grab a different. That's my number one. That's my go-to a lot of times. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to notice what kind of paint is on it. I use GAC 800 by Golden mixed into uh, 10 or 20 percent into all my paints so that I can leave my paint heavy if I want to. There's nothing keeping me from using just a simple spatula swipe either and going across both sides. Oh boy, makes me want to have more satin enamel, excuse me, more enamel, period. I don't think it matters, myself, that's my personal opinion, that it's, whether it's satin or gloss, they both work great. I want to leave some of that white. I also want to make sure my edges get covered, and I have so much paint, there's just no way, if I take a moment, that they won't be covered. And I've got incredibly beautiful cells happening. I'm just so excited about this. I think anybody can do this. And maybe with fewer colors is probably not a bad thing either. I'm just very brazen that way. I call myself a colorist for a reason. And I live by that. And I'm having such a good time. <laughs> um, where's my other spatula? Oh, I still left paint on it. So I'm going to have two of these. And I think I'm going to cover a canvas with white enamel and then drop this paint in ribbons. Oh, I love that little stream there, though. Oh, no. Let's come back over here. I'm really not getting any mud, which makes me very happy. And I have two minutes left, which is making me happy also. So I've got this paint right here, and I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission 
just to check out what's happening here a few places. I drag that white through any spots that I see might be enamel. It's pretty heavy paint, but it's so cool. I'm going to wipe that off again too. I keep my rags nice and damp, that way when I get ready at the end of the day to wash them, it comes out a lot easier. I know that I could just keep right on dragging, but um, <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything. I'm afraid to say anything. You could just play in this paint for a while. And I really think that at some point in time, I will figure out that I can leave a lot less paint toward the center. But this is so cool. I could definitely bring a bamboo skewer into this and chains. And oh, there's some beautiful colors hidden right in there. But the, everything is so nice that's here now. I can't bring myself to, uh, to do anything really any stranger than I've already got. Oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> I, I tell you again, the satin enamels, the catalytic, convert, the catalytic reaction that they have with the regular acrylics, you don't necessarily need expensive paint kits. I'm telling you what, it's, they're nice to have, but right now I got to tell you that whatever I bought before, these are just regular acrylic paints, lots of which are on my Amazon link below show more underneath the video. And, uh, and uh, what? <laughs> and all kinds of other cool stuff. So in two minutes, I need to tell you that I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I will need to be using my, my bucket to clean my tools very thoroughly. And uh, if you give me a thumbs up, it helps me out. The, the most helpful thing you can do is to watch the videos longer. And the second most helpful thing you can do other than buy a painting <laughs> or contribute to PayPal or Patreon to get in the monthly drawing, which you can find on the end screens of the video. I want to use a straw. I want to use everything. There's a skewer. Let's try that once. Yeah, that's so cool. There's so much color there, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to torch really quickly before you guys are gone so you can see what happens and I can see what happens. And uh, I'm really excited about this. This is tremendous. This exceeds my wildest expectations, to tell you the truth, for what I want. This is why people did started out doing accidental art. I got one spot up there that I want to use a straw on. Probably not important, but not going to hurt anything either. So I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you finally. Yay! Wonderful. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me. Thank you for donating and keeping the studio rolling in 2019 and being so helpful already in 2020 in January. The contest for January will have seven paintings, two books, and a calendar in it. Who knows what's coming next month, but if you want to know what's coming next month, check on the last 20 seconds of the end screens of any video that you watch from me. I got one minute left to tell you whatever I'm supposed to tell you, and I have a crib sheet, and it's right there, so I'm going to let that be, and I'll torch a little bit more after you're gone. Um, if your notifications get turned off, and they do, you might want to turn them on. Under the video, I have Teespring and Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram, but the Teespring is the clothing with the all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and all kinds of other products. Um, apparel, not all over, just all over stuff. My Amazon link supports me. When you buy stuff there, it costs you nothing extra and it helps keep me working at YouTube and I really appreciate it. Please, if you can watch the commercials, it's a huge help. That sometimes will help me buy some art supplies. And uh, my income at YouTube is down two thirds, so your help is imperative. I need your thumbs up. I love your comments. Keep commenting. If you have questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, like I said, PayPal or Patreon is the place you could donate. It's a $10 minimum. 
and um, I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, Expressionist